Okay, this is a quick update. I haven't made a lot of progress, haven't had a lot of time. Uh, I did find a problem. I am going to mount the motors today. What I usually do is use the blue Loctite. I'll just dab it on a piece of paper and then just take the screws and dab them. Uh, the thing that I'm concerned about are the ESCs. I don't know if I got the right type or not. Uh, I've got the Hobby King website. Hopefully you can see it. I'm trying to use this on my GoPro too. But it specifically uh, says in there that it has a heat sink. Uh, I looked at some of the reviews and they weren't that um, good. I know that the one that uh, David uses uh, would probably be better, but I decided to go with this 30 amp instead. So I did order three of these. Um, and this one actually has a, a manual that you can download. So uh, let's see if I can bring that up here just a second. This is the one in the 30 amp that David uses. It does have to be flashed to Simon K and getting the programmer is not available. It's still in international. The stuff I've been bought was strictly for the West U.S. code. Well here's the manual for the 30 amp. They don't have one for the 20 but if you read the details there it specifically says it's a lightweight BEC capable of only a half an amp uh, and not to use with servos. This is, I'm sorry, this is the BEC that I bought. It's supposed to be noise reduction. So I'm hoping that I'll hope, I'll hope eventually to do FPV. So, uh, and it is rated for uh, three amps, just like the Hobby King that uh, David uses. I didn't get this one because I'd have to flash it and I couldn't get the programmer. So uh, looks like I'll be on hold for until I get my stuff from Hobby King to complete this. But I'm going to go ahead with uh, a lot of it. In fact, I may go ahead and connect it up and go ahead and test it and see. But I'm concerned about it overheating and not being able to power everything. Um, so it's going to kind of wait and see. Uh, I will work on it some tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and use this servo tester to go ahead and test my connections. Um, first, this is one I haven't. I've only soldered in the connection to the motor so I'm just going to connect it up directly and make sure that it spins correctly and mount to the boom. So that's the thing I'm going to do uh, tomorrow. If you've got any questions or can uh, know of any help but I'm concerned about these uh, 20 amp ones and I know it's not going to be enough to power. I may just uh, go ahead and just have the separate BC for, uh, for other power. That's my update for today. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment, or I appreciate it if you subscribe and or like. I uh, hope you all have a good day. Thanks.